Bob Weir was the youngest member of the Grateful Dead and wrote some of the band's most beloved songs. He also had a unique style, like his Levi's cutoffs, that even had their own name, Bobby Shorts. Levi's collaborated on a limited edition collection. It was inspired by the Dead fans' own denim customization and the band's visual iconography. The 1960s were a remarkable era in many ways. It was the time of a rising youth culture. And for the first time, Levi's began using the term jeans because that's what teenagers and other youth were calling them. The 60s were also an explosion of color and experimentation. And Levi's became a blank canvas for psychedelic expression. One of the best examples of this culture was the Grateful Dead with their legendary music, unique imagery, and the way that deadheads would define their own individual style. I guess I got my first pair of Levi's in, uh, in seventh grade. They're the real thing. And I guess a certain kind of person gravitates towards the real thing. Other people gravitate towards uh, close enough. But if I see somebody wearing Levi's, I pretty much automatically assume that they have a high regard for tradition and heritage. If you trace our, our musical roots, we were heavily invested in country music, Appalachian pre-country music, pre-blues, Delta blues, and, and that kind of thing. All the great jazz guys, all the great blues guys found that if you took a little amplifier and, and turned it up past where it was comfortable, it made another sound, and maybe that's pretty cool. I don't think we gathered uh, artists so much as they found us or we found ourselves together. But we did find people that locked into the same carrier frequencies or something like that. When we were working with Stanley Mouse, with Vic Moscoso, we'd go back and forth for a bit. What we were going on is, this is a story that's telling itself. And because uh, every artist of any stripe is first and foremost a storyteller. And, and you, you find the story and then you let it bloom, you let it blossom. We develop something of a, an attachment or a focus to stuff that's going to last early on so that we don't have to worry about it, we don't have to think about it, we just know that it's there. And that uh, a pair of Levi's is not a single-use item. You build the stories that you're telling out of stuff that's going to be here in years to come, has been here since forever, and that's how you go about it. We had the opportunity to work with the Grateful Dead on a capsule collection. You know, really, I think it's about two Bay Area iconic institutions coming together and celebrating both of their legacies and using Levi's as a canvas to really showcase the beautiful artwork of the Grateful Dead over the years. When I was growing up, you know, we spent a lot of time in Mendocino County on my parents' farm slash commune. Grateful Dead was constantly playing in the background. My background working in art really, I think, framed the way that I approached this project. I didn't want to come into this with a heavy design touch. That this project for me was really just an exercise in telling stories through existing artworks and celebrating them. Using the archive as a resource really provided a roadmap to me for doing something rooted in authenticity. To me, as a designer, it was an extreme honor to be able to even fiddle around with these masterpieces. You know, the art that surrounds the Grateful Dead basically built a visual world to articulate the psychedelic movement. Well, the fans feed us energy, but they're following stuff in the musical conversation, and you can feel them and you can hear them react. They're watching the same movie that we're watching. And so they're part of it, and they, they want to make those clothes expressive of the fact that they're part of this bigger culture. There's something in that tradition for, for humanity. There's a gift for humanity that is going to make us better humans. The Levi's brand has been woven into key cultural moments throughout its history. And it's the Levi's archives that chronicles this unusual aspect of the brand. It's a feature that continues to inspire Levi's products today.